After a good summer across much of Oklahoma, most of the cows should be in pretty good body condition going into the fall and winter season. But virtually on every ranch, someplace, there'll be those two or three year olds, those young cows that came out of summer a little thinner than we'd like. And therefore we're concerned about their body condition as they go into the winter. You see, there was research done at South Dakota State back in the 90s where they looked at two different weaning dates for cows that were a, a little below the, the desired amount of body condition as they came to the first part of September. Then they followed those cows through the upcoming winter, the calving season, and then the subsequent breeding season. First thing they noted was that the cows that were early weaned, even though they were on the same pasture, got the same feed throughout the winter time, they were a half a condition score better in terms of body condition going into December and January. The cows that were early weaned, there was about a 9% difference in their favor in terms of the percentage of those cows cycling at the start of the next breeding season. So as you see on this particular data sheet, there was 83% uh, of those cows cycling compared there to only 74% of the cows that were more traditionally weaned. But perhaps more important was the difference they found in the cows that actually conceived to the artificial insemination in that first go around. 70% of the cows that were early weaned that had that little advantage in body condition at the start of the breeding season as compared to only 35%, that's half as many of those cows that actually conceived to artificial insemination. A lot of those that were later weaned actually caught up and you see that there was about a week's difference in the average conception date and therefore average calving date the following year. That means that they had more calves that were actually bred to artificial insemination plus the entire calf crop was a week older at the time that they would be weaned the following year and should be a little bit heavier. So I think that there are some advantages for those situations where you've got some young cows, give them that chance throughout the remainder of September and October to regain body condition before the, the winter months set in. I think that'll be helpful to you and your bottom line and we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.